Yes, this watch has ESP32 S3 inside. And this is the first impression. Lilygo was kind enough to send me an RTC LoRa module IR sensor ESP32 S3 along with other amazing features packed inside this T-Watch S3. So let's get started. Alright, let's start with the basics. This is the Lilygo T-Watch S3, a sleek rectangular open source smartwatch. The watch itself comes with a gun color finish with a material that feels like plastic. The display, a 1.54 diagonal wide angle TFT LCD with a resolution of 240 by 240. It's 16 bit full color and has a high density of 220 ppi, making it look vibrant and clear from any angle. And here, right below the display, is an IR sensor perfect for your crazy ideas. Flip it over and you've got a plastic back cover with that bold Lilygo branding. Underneath, there is a speaker and haptic motor. On the side, there is a button, a USB port and PDM mic. USB port is not for just charging the 470mAh battery, but also for uploading your custom code directly to the watch using the cable that comes in the box. If we talk about the unboxing experience, the watch itself comes in a hard plastic box which is perfectly wrapped with bubble sheet for extra protection. After opening the box, we get a set of safety instructions. The watch itself comes in a white bag. So let's open it. Remove the battery. Flip the battery switch on. The watch face is where everything starts. It shows time, battery percentage, weather and it also has a step counter. If I swipe, it shows all the pin configurations of ESP32 S3 with all the sensors that are integrated inside this open source smartwatch. Furthermore, the watch has three more beautiful watch faces to select from. If I swipe further, it shows the specifications for the ESP32 S3, which has a flash memory of 16 MB, speed of 80 MHz, along with different versions. Down here is a slider to adjust the brightness for this watch. If I swipe further, it will scan for Wi-Fi networks around me, but I cannot connect to any of those Wi-Fi networks. Further swiping shows the UI for LoRa, where I can transmit or receive data from another LoRa module and down here I can tweak different changes. If I swipe further here I can test my mic and speaker. Hello, Lily Go. Hello, Lily Go. I would say that the speaker is not that loud but down here I can record my voice. Subscribe to Engineer Pakistan and smash that like button. Down here I got a third button to play my recorded voice. Further swiping shows three tests. The first one is a voice activity detection. If I click that, it will detect my voice and show some numbers when I speak. The second test is an IR test. When I click on that, it will send IR signals. Down here you can see that a purple light will emerge when I click this button. Last test is the vibration test. When I click on that, the haptic motor will vibrate. Then around the bezel, there are buttons for a haptic touch feedback. When I click on them, the haptic motor vibrates. For the swiping, I can adjust date and time manually. So this was the first impression on the Lilygo T-Watch S3 with additional features like triaxial accelerometer and power management. What do you want me to build with this T-Watch S3? 
drop your ideas in the comment section below i would love to hear them and respond to them that's pretty much it for today take care allah hafiz